what we expect from police is to write to us and we appear and we explain about the offenses which they are alleged that they were committed. Well, it's a very good morning right here on The Buzz UG. My name is Melad Milo aka Fula and I'm back to keep you posted on what's making headlines in the country. Now, Uganda police have defended their decision to suspend NUP countrywide tours. The police chief political commissioner Hadija Namutebi has warned against the claims by the opposition that the force is partisan. Our mandate is to uh, protect life and property, prevent and detect crime, ensure law and order. That is our cardinal role. So in those statements, I don't see any partisan partisanship in them as far as our duty is concerned. So we get concerned if one party or one group of people wants to enjoy their rights at the expense of other, other people's rights. But the Shadow Minister for Internal Affairs, Honorable Abdallah Chuanuka, believes since police have not formally preferred charges against His Excellency Bobby Wine for alleged sectarianism and illegal assembly, they can't rule out the fact that it's politics at play. What we expect from police is to write to us and we appear and we explain about the offenses which they alleged that they were committed. Short of that, they have no law whatsoever to stop me from moving across the country to solicit for support for my party, NUP. Uh, to political commentator Yusuf Serunguma, police were just trying to balance the equation. So it only looked fair that you could allow, you have to let both of them go around and do the same. Okay, but then it turned out really quickly that uh, the leader of the opposition is has the vibe of the public in ways that the sun cannot have. And the closer I came to Kampala, the more it was likely that uh, police was going to go back to what they used to do. And they've just done what they do. Uh, Serunguma believes the accusations of uh, sectarianism and terror threats are just excuses being used to justify their decision. As the police force was looking around for an excuse, so they were gambling with terror. Uh, Bobby Wine gave them a good reason to do that and they, he just played into their traps. When he sort of uh, flavored his rhetoric with the Stella Nyanzi ideas, it became easy for them to rein in on that. Well, yesterday, after Bobby Wine congratulated Shuba and uh, Cindy upon a successful battle at Kololo Grounds, he also indicated that the bomb scare in Kampala by Uganda police is fake and uh, he hopes that Mr. Fred Nanga, the spokesperson of Uganda police, will not come out to say that terrorists go to sleep when they are cossacks in Kampala and wake up during NUP countrywide tours. Well, the second phase of the NUP countrywide tour is coming after two weeks and uh, we will see how the security forces will react to the Red Camp. Well, there you go. That is uh, the latest update I have for you on the Bazuji right now. My name is Omela Dmilo, aka Fula. Subscribe and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. Don't forget to also follow me on TikTok, Omela Dmilo, aka Fula. It is a bye for now. Thank you.